Okay, so here we are demonstrating how to specify the structural model. And we're using the corporate reputation model, the theoretical corporate reputation model by Eberl as the basis of our theory. And it just simply suggests that corporate reputation directly impacts customer satisfaction, which directly impacts customer loyalty. But it also suggests that corporate reputation, these two constructs, also have a direct effect on customer loyalty. Now, note that I said the arrows are direct and they indicate theoretical directions of influence. But we don't know, just looking at the path diagrams, we don't know if that posited or predicted direction of influence along any one arrow is positive or negative. We have to examine the theory to determine whether we think that the direction of causality, the direction of influence from, for example, customer satisfaction on customer loyalty along this path, whether it's positive or negative. And what researchers will often do when they use PLS path modeling as their analytical technique to examine a theory is they'll draw a structural model, a theoretical model like this with these latent constructs, and then they will posit hypotheses along each one of the directional paths. Now, in this particular theory with uh, on corporate reputation, it suggests that there is a positive effect of customer satisfaction on customer loyalty. So we might posit a hypothesis, the first hypothesis, H1, and just simply state it as there is a positive effect of customer satisfaction on customer loyalty. And how we would determine that, or prove that, if you will, using our sample data, would be to estimate this model and determine that there is a, a positive coefficient along this path, a statistically significant positive coefficient along this path, representing the, representing the effect of, the direct effect of, customer satisfaction on customer loyalty. Now, one more thing I should say about specifying the structural model um, unlike the covariance based techniques, which allow so called circular relationships, sometimes called non recursive relationships, you, you cannot have that in PLS path modeling. The, the mathematics behind estimating all of the parameter levels and values just simply will not work. You'll, you'll have indeterminate solutions. You will not be able to estimate your model if you have a so-called circular path model, a non-recursive set of relationships within anywhere within your structural model. For example, if we drew a model like this, if we specified our structural model like this, where we're suggesting that corporate competency has an influence a direct influence on customer satisfaction, and customer satisfaction has a direct influence on customer loyalty, but we also posit that customer loyalty has a direct effect on, on corporate competency. Note that this is a non-recursive relationship. It's going around in a circle. You can't do that in PLS. It's an error, and in fact, you cannot estimate such a model. And Smart PLS uses color to show you errors. Red is always bad. Whenever you see something in red in your drawn model here in the modeling window, you know you've got something you've got to fix before you can estimate the model. And the way you would fix it, in this case, of course, we would just reverse the directionality of the, the path between competency and customer loyalty.